Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of the Salsa Gamer Mailbag. As always, I'm John Rivera, lead reviewer as well as host of the ROMcast for the Salsa Gamer website, which is this right here. Check it out. Uh, you know, read some of our stuff. And by the way, for those of you guys who've been tuning in, uh, we have the latest episode of the ROMcast up. Uh, for the next ROMcast, we're going to be doing some something different. We're not going to be covering any stories or anything like that. We've accrued a bunch of b-roll and just random stuff that we have bloopers and the like and uh, we're gonna combine that all to make a, a new year's version of the romcast and it's simply for entertainment and not to be taken seriously so there's that but uh this we talk about a few stories in here that you might be interested in uh we have uh, a round table where we rant about uh the hardware of this generation not being up to snuff across the board um and we, I've also put up another quick look video. Uh, this time it's the PlayStation original classic Ridge Racer made by Namco. And so I kind of just wax nostalgic in the quick look and talk about my experiences playing that game because it is very nostalgic for me. And uh, yeah, that's kind of just the crux of that video. Uh, also, if you guys want to see a full playthrough of it, I actually complete the regular campaign not including the reverse tracks so again that's just the regular campaign with the you know the the regular track design so so there's that and uh, also I am working on the Resident Evil review or Resident Evil 6 review so look forward to that hopefully it won't kill me like the flashback review did that review Ugh. anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed reading it uh, found it very informative so anyway, let's uh, let's get on with my latest acquisitions, uh, starting with Doom. Yes, the original Doom for the Sega 32X. Now I actually do have a copy of this game, of this port. Um, the only thing is, it's not complete in the original case, and the label art of the cartridge itself is kind of beat up. So I ended up spending maybe five more dollars than I normally would for a loose copy and got my hands on a copy of it complete with the cover sleeve as well as the box and the manual documentation so definitely a plus here if you guys want to get a gander at this front art I mean if you play Doom and you've ever owned a legitimate copy of this game you'll know what the cover art looks like but here's the Sega 32X cover art so you have some screenshots in the back. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, there's no multiplayer. It's a one-player game, just like the uh, the other a lot of the other console ports at the time, at least. So you, here you have the manual documentation. A lot of this stuff is a carryover from the original version of Doom, so it's not really anything new. And also we have the cartridge. You see some sticky residue on here from a label that I pulled off. I need to get that chemical to remove adhesive for stickers, but I gotta be careful not to affect this decal because this decal is really important. It's one of the reasons why I bought a new copy of it. But yeah, that for the most part is the 32X version of Doom, complete in box. I can get this all put back together without destroying it. So there's that. I've also picked up a couple of Dreamcast games, uh, and one of them I've owned at some point in my life, and the other one I have never owned. Uh, this is Carrier. I've never owned this game. Uh, apparently, this is one of those survival horror games for the Dreamcast that uh, people kind of uh, know from the periphery, but there's really not a lot of coverage on this game so I was hoping that I might be able to remedy that sometime in the future uh, I do have a, a soft place a soft spot in my heart for uh, survival horror games and so I found myself just acquiring a lot of them and quite a few of them I have are for the Dreamcast so carrier it's it plays essentially like Resident Evil for the most part uh, from what I understand there are a few differences and this is a game that I'm not sure if it was made by Jalico, but it definitely was published by Jalico. So, 
There's a disc right there. And here is the manual. Interesting thing about the US cover art, it's completely different from the European cover art. The European cover art is actually using a drawing from uh, a series of collectible playing cards called battle cards that I used to play back in the 90s. I can't believe I can actually say that. But the art for the card that's called Flesh Eater actually uses the same art as the cover art for the European version of Carrier for the Dreamcast. So There's some stub in here for joining some software club. Here's the controls and stuff. It's actually a nice arrangement for the manual. Anyway, that's Carrier for the Dreamcast. And hopefully at some point I'll do a, a quick uh, a quick look video on this title Let's see if this manual will get in without getting torn up there we go and I know you guys are probably gonna hate me for this uh, I've acquired a copy of Soul Calibur now you guys might be wondering why do I own I don't already own this game in some way shape or form by the way the jewel case came in busted sad face uh, the reason why I didn't own this game to begin with was that uh, my brother owned our Dreamcast and a bunch of games and he held on to his Dreamcast for a time and when I moved down here to Kentucky uh, I guess he had since sold all of his Dreamcast stuff I don't know why but um, this is one of the games that he sold and so I did play this game when it first came out but it technically wasn't my copy and I wish it was, because I would have still had it. But anyway, I've since remedied the situation, because now I own a copy of Soul Calibur. Hopefully I can do a, a Solid State Gamer Quick Look video on this as well. I mean, this is one of my favorite games of all time. And for the most part, the documentation is in good condition. Yeah, this game's very nostalgic for me. So is the original Soul Blade for the uh, Sony PlayStation. I have a lot of fond memories playing that game. Actually, PlayStation was one of my fa favorite platforms to play racing games as well as fighting games. Um, one of them that I had a soft spot for was the original Bushido Blade. It was such a different sort of game. I, I'd never played a game quite like it before. Uh, it, it kind of went against the grain of the stereotypical console fighting game and uh, had some interesting mechanics to it that were that lend themselves to uh, Japanese wrestling games, but also had a lot of elements from Western and Japanese fighting games that were console style. So it was kind of an interesting marriage between the two different mentalities or design principles. So maybe I'll do a let's, uh, like a let's play or a Solid State Gamer quick look video on that as well. So th there's a lot of stuff. Uh, hopefully I, you know, I, I can do videos on every single game that I own, which that's going to be tough because I have a lot of games. <laughs> so and, and that's not an exaggeration. So hopefully I can get through my whole entire catalog or library of games and we'll have like a full library of quick look videos. And I'm also planning on doing some more Proto Watch videos. I recently acquired a copy of like ODT Escape or Die Trying. Uh, I don't know why I didn't include that in, one, in this video. I probably should have, but oh well. Um, but definitely look, look forward to that. Um, we're going to be doing the New Year's episode of the ROMcast, and I'm going to try to finish that Resident Evil 6 review as, much, as quickly as I can and uh, try to do more videos, um, hopefully more ProtoWatch videos. I don't want to juice those up um, all the way uh, by the end of this year, but I do want to at least cover a couple more of them. So hopefully we'll have some more of those in the future. But um, until then, uh, stay tuned and uh, keep checking out the site for more updates. And um, yeah, stick around. Anyway, this is John Rivera saying uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Solid State Gamer Weekly Mailbag Series. Take care.